fascinating garments as he has, I doubt that. You know? You can't even finish that. <laughs> well, I really don't need to finish it more than that. Okay. <laughs> it. Did you forget what what that means? As you will, uh, as you will begin to uh, to Did walk up the stair. Means? As I'm sure these young ladies would like a bite of mutton. <laughs> no, Tina, it's okay. So you didn't forget, dude. He so has ill intentions. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll stay in the side, in the in the corner of the room with the oil lamp. Who will? And, uh, the sheriff, looking at uh, at Nima, she uh, begins mining. I suppose. Ah. <laughs> Bree. And uh, how uh, close behind are the ambushers following? Uh, they're not following very close behind. They're giving sort of respectful distance. They they just seem to be following. They also. Uh, very much seem to be of the Dornish variety. Probably stumbled upon this place, uh, or or mm. some such, and chose maybe to stay here. Bree will look over at Resent and uh, lean in close to her in whisper and say, "This would be our chance to do something if we can isolate him." Not slightly. Because I hate mutton. Bree, Bree. <laughs> Bree doesn't say anything further. <laughs> yeah, he will go sort of to one of the uh, on the upper rooms where the sun shines in. It's likely of a, a hole more than a window, uh, where there is a slight fireplace just on the floor. Seems uh, that makes do for what a kitchen is. I'll sort of smile to you. Is I'll I'll have the food brought up. You hungry? We appreciate any hospitality that His Majesty would offer to us. You are a good little one, even if you are ugly. <laughs> You're so quiet, like a real lady. Well, not to one of the uh, men who will, uh, will go to sort of fetch me. The other two just sit down on the, on the side, clearly used to eating here. Okay. Then the moment that one leaves and the two sit down and then His Majesty uh, takes a position, that's going to be it. As well. Yes, sort of a dirty pillow. Bree is uh, going to launch into action. I am going to initiate combat, Vatikai. All right, then. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure, we could do that. He is not expecting it. They're not expecting it. Most certainly. Uh, I mean, Brissette has a like a, a tiny spear, uh, but Bree has got nothing. So, <laughs> yeah. Roll your uh, quickness. I will do just that. Let me see here. <laughs> Does this sheriff hear that? Uh, not at the moment, certainly. Oh, that's good. So far, nothing has happened. Bree will act first because, you know. Okay. I am going to uh, charge uh, one of these sitting ambushers. I'll just say this one. As uh, Bree, uh, finally, after seeing them sit and for a moment relax, uh, snaps into focus. Her they don't mind... seem overly threatened by a little girl. Hmm. That's uh, understandable. <sighs> I am charging. Uh, which will uh, give me a penalty die in exchange for plus two damage. This is a brawling thing. Uh, da -da -da -da. Go ahead and make sure that's factored in as she attacks the prone, on, yeah, sitting down, uh, ambusher. Uh, that 
would be... Well, he is surprised as well, so technically we get another bonus die. Let me go ahead and add the extra test die then. I forgot about that. That uh, looks like it would not cancel out anything. All right, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> but but that will give you a current four degrees. That will be 28 points of damage. <laughs> I can describe that because he do like 20 more than he has. Bree uh, waits for them all to sit down and relax, and then uh, casting a small little glance at Rosette, uh, will, without like wrath or like screaming or cries, charge over as fast as she can, and while well, the man's sitting, just fucking just like pounce on him, and uh, with a quick stomp of her boot, uh, break the man's neck, causing him to like flail and gasp for air. Said being a rather quick one, um, and having seen this, like Lind, we'll uh, we'll move up, as as Bree does, basically, uh, move and uh, and try to stab this one in his uh, stupid face. <laughs> yeah, right. that stupid face. Uh, which she will succeed at, uh, for uh, enough damage to kill him outright. As she jams the slight spear into his uh, throat, the man unsuspecting, just gurgling blood and, and like spilling it over the spear uh, shaft. Uh, Chaman uh, stares and uh, and says, oh, yeah. God, Sher Sheriff, get up here, you fool, as he tries to stand up. But uh, it seems like he's, he's cane and with his, uh, in his haste, he will, he will certainly try to stand up, but he can't do uh, automatic things easily. Uh, that will, however, be enough for him to actually stand up. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> just sort of, sort of fumble with the, the cane. That's sort of gurgling. And uh, his call certainly does echo through the, the small place, although it's not really, it's really enough. Uh, yeah. Because theirs, as it turns out, doesn't take much long to have a combat turn. Though I suppose uh, Nima, can you, you can do an awareness test if you if you want to try to hear the uh, this guy also try as well. Well, sure. Uh, yeah. Guy, you can nah, that stuff. would be no. pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Yes, Nima hears that the sheriff doesn't seem to have heard it, uh, and you will hear sort of the running feet of that guy returning. You'll Running act at the end next turn, Nima. You can also act at the end of the next turn if you want. Sheriff sure, doesn't. He'll he he'll I'll put him on there, but he doesn't do anything yet because he doesn't know anything is up. He's just looking at you, uh, as you're supposed to do mining. Uh, or you attempting that? Uh, well, but but Brian gets to the uh, the third ambusher is too far away. Although we can hear his footsteps as he's approaching, yes. right? Yes, he, he, like, he moved away rather quickly to get some mutton, supposedly. Right. Like, uh, we're like in like different room or something. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, uh, Bree will cast her malevolent glint uh, towards uh, his majesty and says, that was a bad move, your majesty. And uh, she will basically fucking charge for him. <laughs> All right. The, uh, her objective is not to, to kill him immediately. She did succeed on her will test to avoid losing her composure with the fairy's nature. Uh, but she will charge him. He is most assuredly not surprised. Uh, yeah, all right, but that'll, that is enough to, uh, to punch him out if that's what uh, she wants to do. Bree will actually, uh, she'll, like, take him and she'll, like, with a series of swift kicks, uh, knock him down onto the ground. With her strength, she'll pick him up, throw him on the table, and uh, she'll, like, I don't know, she'll take, like, one of her improvised weapons and put it right over his, his eye and say, if you move or say one thing that acts against me or any of my companions or does anything other than call your dogs off, I will drive this through your eye, old man. Could you roll Intimidate, then? Sure. Do I get any bonus static modifier for the situation? I'll uh, take care of that. It, okay. it, that depends on the on the uh, on the difficulty. All right. Uh, 
he is a pretty pig-headed idiot who might just not take the threats because he's his royal majesty. But it seems like you get through. Uh, do we? Okay. And uh, it's like, a, ah, stop, stop. I don't need help. Stop, stop. I stop right now. You'll hear the, the footsteps sort of stop. Uh, a little away from the door. Not really moving any further. Set will move to the side of the door, basically outside of you, uh, with her spear ready to perhaps stab anyone who comes through the door. Hmm. Two guys are dead. You should uh, perhaps call the gentleman who is going to bring us a lovely meal to ensure that we can continue to enjoy your hospitality, your majesty. Mutton! I want my mutton! Call out. And the, uh... First of all slowly leave and then hastily leave. Perhaps the man is smart enough to figure out something happened. <laughs> he has heard some commotion of distant clangor and mm. thumps. He is looking at her with his frown as she's continuously not mining. I want to bet that either you have lost your employment, or I have. But I will say that the favor is in my. He opens so, his mouth and waggles his cut off tongue at you. Hmm. Frowns at you deeply, looking at you, looking down the well. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Shrugs, stands in the door. Want to play cards? Doesn't react. Mm. You gonna do anything about the commotion? Um, he is in the doorway, right? Yeah, he's standing by the doorway, sort of leaning his shoulder against the side of it. You could resolve him. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> well, do what Nima does does best. <laughs> right. Okay. Sure. Or you could not resolve him. It's up to you. Well, he's probably, yeah, not very bright. Well, well, I mean, I suppose we'd ask a question. We know that he has a halberd. What kind of armor does he have, man? I he seems to have an old dented breastplate. It seems likely that he was an infantryman at some point, perhaps a deserter who might have moved into the mountains after his unit was, was routed or some such. It happens from time to time that these people are here. His armor certainly hasn't been repaired for many years. It's unlikely that he's been sort of outside of this region for quite some time. Anyway, like, in Tina, in this particular case, like, I was, I just wanted to get these folks separated so that they could be, like, you know, lulled into a sense of security and then knocked upside. It's hard. We don't have the, the code secret words for all of that. All we just had was, like, garment. <laughs> True. <laughs> Well, um, I don't know. He's I suppose I should kill him. It's just, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, we him. don't even know if he's he's a bad guy. <laughs> well. But Nima the... would just, pff, I can hear commotion. I need to get to you guys. So I'll shoot. Nima would charge him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he is uh, competent enough to grab his weapon at the charge, but you certainly react first. Let's see here. You can draw a weapon while moving, but you take a penalty die on all attacks until your next turn. There you go. So this turn or next turn? Uh, minus one die or one penalty die. Right. Um, do you charge or do you just walk up and stab him? I should probably just walk up and stab him. I all just right. like the charge, but uh, can't get everything. So, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that certainly, uh, certainly hits him. That's a four successes. Is that factoring in your penalty die? I just uh, walked up true. and stabbed him. The penalty die would, would still be there because you draw your weapon this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that would be... They would be one of the one. one. Well, that changes it to three degrees. No. Uh, and my agility is four. Twelve. Twelve. Oh. What did the, the Castle Forge do? Get plus one to what? 
12 would, uh, would certainly reduce his health, but not outright kill him. Manakai, what did the Castle Forge give plus two? Uh, I believe your Castle Forge get plus one to hit. It also seems you rolled your attack wrong. You did four dice, but your uh, your your bonus dice are zero. I think you what? added your uh, your your ranks as a modifier here. She did. For fencing instead of. Uh... Oh right. Now, you did yeah. roll exceptionally well, so we'll just leave I it did. at that. But uh... but you know uh, he takes some damage from you. And uh, he'll, he'll grab his elbow and try to strike back at you. I'm going to block the door a little bit. Don't get hit. <laughs> yeah. I did not get hit. That did, it certainly does not hit. He sort of does a, a strange hiss. That is creepy. Three is... Well, I suppose we'll do the battle down here since... Yeah, you should focus on that. Since that is, uh, that is what's going on right now. Yeah. Well, he's still within reach, isn't he? Yes. So it's uh, four in dice and four in what? Bonus dice? Yes. Yes. And then modifier of one because you one, have a castle. Right. That would Oof. be two degrees. Oh. A terrible roll. But yeah, it's a terrible roll. It's like, what? But so, yeah, that's what they. Two degrees. Uh-huh. Eight. Normal people wearing armor don't have that much. He's still standing, though. I should pierce him again. Um, well, you know. Whipper snapper's not gonna. Well. <laughs> he swings the heavy helper down, clanging against the, uh, the rock. There's something breaking, definitely, here up there. Weapons hitting rock. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he's dead. Describe how you kill him. Uh, Nima just swiftly jumps over the halberd and just goes to his side and puts the sword up through... What is this called? Under his arm? Just Elbow? puts the sword up no, through no, his, uh, yeah. his side uh, where the, the armor is put together and pulls swiftly out and dries her sword in his... Just stares into your eyes and then collapses on the floor. Mm-hmm. Dries her her sword off in his clove and runs towards uh, when she heard the noise and will yell, Bree! Mm-hmm. Bree will, will snort a bit and then look down at his majesty and because she won, she'll knock up unconscious. Huh. I don't know this place. <laughs> He's basically going to be like, ah! just run like 19 more ambushers all with bows. Well, I suppose we have the water now. Bree looks over and says, Yes, I think we do. This was a... She scowls at the man. A time waster, to be sure. I wanted to resolve that before we got dragged into any more unsavory affairs. That makes sense. I wasn't sure what you were planning. Though it would make it did make sense to get us inside before we did anything. Yes, I did not know how competent his sheriff was, and the and she gestures over towards the ambushers. I've felt the sting of arrows before. Well, you know, it's... <laughs> and Bree will call out in here, Nima. Nima will go for the sound of Bree. No, uh, no, back home at respite. Far away. <laughs> no idea what's going on. But probably they imagine these girls silly lost and not being able to find anything out there. Uh, doing stewardship, I believe, for a month. Yes. So, That'd be a thing. So doing. should we do our stewardship role? Do you want to do that? We could do it uh, just once for third month. But, uh, but you know, you're, you're kind of doing that. So let's do it. Let's do it every month here for... Woo! For this, I believe that's what you want, right? I have the choice. I, I see. I see. We do it. No, it's up to Let's you. Let's do it. You're the you're the steward person. Mm-hmm. You do the you do the stewarding. I put a point in it. I might as well. Yes, go for it. Uh, I have three three main dice. I have a bonus die, and I have a one modifier. <laughs> uh, that is thirteen. Really. 
Well, we probably don't die. want that, yeah. If you um, choose not to use your bonus die, I suppose. Yeah, if we take the two instead of the three, uh, we get boon. Which would be better. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't remember if Manica said, is that something we could do? Yeah, we'll that's do fine. For the first one, yeah. Yep. Yep. I don't have a problem with it. I, I, I didn't remember if he, I didn't say if we can change this view or not, but hmm. sure. So. And there we go. Definitely boon over decline, I would say. Yes, I definitely prefer the boon. Okay. Macros, yeah, they're great. They might <laughs> steal them at some point. <laughs> yes, they seem useful. <laughs> that, that's not a macro, that's, that's me just copying text. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. I thought you had them all written down. Who knows? Like, some people do. Sure. I know. But, I, I, I do. I did make some uh, some some mac blurbs from the very beginning because they might be yeah. effects that I do, like interacting or charging. Yeah, yeah I will certainly go for the boon over the decline. Uh, that is generally what people would do. Uh, all right. Um, as a group, I think people said they wanted to focus on wealth. I, uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, but but what kind? Like a, a meaningful boon here at the end of basically the beginning of autumn would be how well the harvest is going. Uh, I think that's the boon that, that seems most relevant. And I could mm. say since you're kind of doing a wealth crop that that would be uh, that would be money. We definitely do have textile agriculture. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. I think that's the boon that should be. I mean, that makes sense that that, so. that your your harvest is perhaps you know it's moderate, but. Uh, but Len is is, uh, is decent and managed to do good trade business to to send it uh, it off to uh, some haggling could haggling, haggling some prices raising it up. We could also take uh, the lesser double boon and have some money and some uh, law, for instance, um, as we go after the Lord Men and start stamping them out. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I could see that being yeah that would make sense as well. Sure, I'll leave that choice up to you. So one to three points in wealth and law. Yeah, sounds I like suppose uh, so whoever is dealing with the law problem at the moment uh, sounds like that would be uh, Alaric or uh, Desim to yeah, do that. And and I think Dark, you're definitely one dealing with the trading of, mm -hmm. uh, of goods. Sure. You would uh, want to roll a 1d3 plus 1d3, Dark. 1d3 plus 1d3? Yes, yeah, because, because of our, 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 our textile agriculture. Yeah, yes, sure. our, our fantastic textile um, that's five. Though. That's five. That's perfectly average. Now, <laughs> now desert five. Where's your spy master's doing? One d three. Sure, I can <clears throat> do one d three. Two. Sweet. I like this slightly more lawful. As uh, as perhaps some uh, some people who've been sheltering the lawnmen sometimes or supplying them with food has been uh, have been snapped out. Mm. Sure to pay. How do how do you how do you how harsh are you with such people? With the Theft lornman? takes a hand, or yeah. If we catch the lornman, they die. What if people well, who are assisting them? Hmm. Not the lornman themselves. Peasant was like intimidated into sheltering them and hiding them from the guard, or. Uh, we will. Uh, we, uh, hmm, well, the lornman needs to stop. It needs to stop, and peasants sheltering them. You know, if 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 they hold a sword to you and like, oh, we will kill you if you if you don't help us, then you know. That's what then, he said happened. Sure, and then it can be like, oh yes, of course. But then he should immediately run to us and be like, oh my god, they're threatening us. If he doesn't do that, then he's helping them, and it's. Well, he can't kill his wife. Well, that's something he should tell us about. Mm. Are you going to be just as tyrannical as the you know the the villain? Of I Caledon's am not path? a tyrant. I'm lawful. Do you tell sir. them not to, or do you cut his head off for like? You're acting lord like, well, Aaron would just, he doesn't even answer if asked. Probably no one asks him. Sure. No, uh, there will uh, there will be a uh, some some sort of, I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Should we should we punish these people or should we just say, ah, yeah, yeah, probably. It's probably. If you do it again, you will die. Sure. If you do it again, it's trial by if combat. Will, if we but. catch you helping these people again, then then you there will be like real bad consequences for it. We understand that you we, were uh, that you were uh, lenient in this case by like. But, you're obviously gonna write his name down, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Doesn't remember. <laughs> the book of grudges. <laughs> I have ledgers. I know Who's who lives on my lands. Yeah, basically, like if we catch you helping them again. 
you know, you're out. But maybe you can redeem yourself in my eyes by helping me instead. Tell me things. Become an informant. Turns and... out they, they did. For too long. Worth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trial by combat against Alaric mm -hmm. for like testing <laughs> folk. <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's basically death. Exactly, that's but cool. it's... Uh... <laughs> first blood, I surrender. <laughs> Could always uh, send them to the wall. You know, you the House Caledon uh, cares about that. With the what? Defending wall. against uh, like trolls the and wall, the, the wall is just a, the wall is just a convenient the wall is just a convenient way to jail them. We don't have to set, we don't have people. Send them away. No, but but uh, yeah, first that you killed them. First first time, okay, that's fine. We are retaking this land. It is understandable that they are sure uh, under this way. But if it happens again, heads are gonna roll. Other than that, yeah. you have spies and you're working with your network. Is there anything particular you would like to know? Because you have a month here as well. Or a few months even, because it's going to be a long time soon until the tournament crowns are done. Uh, do you have any project you, you three want to begin? These others are, are like traveling out to explore I, and find a place. I put, oh no, they disappeared. Uh, all right. I put down three projects. 